All right, so the assignment that this is going to be used on is the cell cycle, illustrated notes. Uh, you've got six illustrations. You need to make an illustrator, and each one will be uh, exported as a JPEG and placed in this column here. So you have the interface all the way down to this item here. Uh, so we're going to go to Adobe Illustrator. File new, and you'll do this for each one. We're going to go to Art and Illustration. First choice here is Fine. Uh, we want to first call this Interphase, and I want to set my units to inches and my orientation to landscape. And let's set the width to six, so it's a six by four. That better matches the uh, cell size on this Word document here, okay? So, go back there. I'm gonna click Create. Command zero so I can see the whole image. And this will be mostly done with brushes and with the type tool. So you go ahead and begin. I'm just going to do a quick example. There's my cell. Use the selection tool to select it. And I'm going to fill it with a color. Pick your color. And Gonna go back to the brush tool, B on the keyboard. Continue to draw some of the pieces that I need. You'll do a better job of drawing because you'll have the pens. I don't have a pen right now. Um, on the uh, stroke, you can e just eliminate the stroke. Probably don't really need a stroke on these guys. But it's up to you. You can leave the stroke in there if you want. Um, Notice that since I have closed paths, I can fill with color pretty easily. You see what I'm doing here. So nothing new. Just more practice with the pen tool and drawing. We're producing illustrations for work in other classes, which is a cool thing. Good use of this, these skills. Uh, you need to also create labels. So first we need a big label. We need a title. So we just use the regular type tool. Just click and type. Then you can drag, drag it out to make it a nice big title. Remember the hierarchy of text. Title should be the biggest. And then your labels need to be Decent size as well. Again, I'm just clicking and typing. Just click, type. Uh, and you would type in the different things that you need to label. I'm going to let your understanding of this assignment decide what needs to be labeled. And you can use the line tool. Just make sure that you have a stroke set. Probably black works. One point stroke thickness is fine. Or if it gives you in inches, just make sure you have something there that you could see. And you could always move this stuff around. Probably need to make these labels a little bit bigger. Because believe it or not, this would be kind of small when you go to put it. You can use the direct select tool click out and that and then click on the endpoints 
to move the line around if you need to. Again, you click out so it's not selected, and then you just click on the end point that you want to move. Okay? So you would go around and do all of that. Uh, when you're done, or if the bell rings, you want to just go File Save, right? And you want to make sure it's called the phase that you're working on. And it goes into your documents and click Save as an AI file. And when you're ready to export, when you're really done, you're going to go File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. JPEG High works. Don't change anything here. Just leave everything as is and click Save. Make sure it's going into your Documents folder. So I'll, I'm going to replace mine because I already did one. And uh, that would conclude this particular illustration in Illustrator. Then you'd go on and do the next five the same way. When you're ready to put these in, uh, in your Word document here, you're going to insert. Well, first of all, click in the cell you want to put it in. Then click Insert Pictures from File. And go find the file that you want. Make sure it's the .jpg. Click Insert. And there you go. It's in. I don't think you need to worry if it goes to two pages because it will. These, these documents will go to two pages. This document will probably go to two pages with these illustrations. You can always hold the shift key down and grab a corner and a box if you need to make it a little smaller. Don't make it too small though. You've got to be able to see it. All right. And, um, and that's about it. One more thing I want to show you in case it comes up. If, uh, I'm going to do something here. If you draw in the wrong order, like if you start in the middle and work your way out, and you cover stuff up like that, and you know you have stuff below, right? I've got things below it. Uh, you can right click over the object, go to arrange, and you can go send to back or bring to front, whatever you need. That's one way of controlling what's on top of what. Uh, you could also use layers, but I'm not gonna cover that yet. Um, all right. So that's what you got to do. Good luck.